What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Tamar Braxton is a very interesting person to talk about on my channel. Just like Lizzo, Lonnie Love, Gabrielle Union, uh, Jada Pinkett. But the difference between Tamar is Tamar is not always ridiculous like the ones that are aforementioned. Tamar is a mixed bag. She's uh, completely ridiculous on some days, and other days, uh, she makes sense. But I want to talk about this post she shared on um, on Twitter that she reposted on Instagram. Um, and it goes something like this. Day music! Is there something wrong with me not wanting to go half of the dude? I don't mind paying for both of us sometimes but I'm not going half, none of the time. It's a total turn off for me. Do y'all guys think going half is sexy? Maybe I'm old school, but that ain't it. What y'all think? You know, let me, let me, let me, let me talk about this. Because we're in a time in American history where many men, and I believe SPK did a video on it because I first saw it on T.S.N. Johnson's Facebook. We're at a time right now where many men are living alone and away from women. It's the most it's ever been in the country. One out of every five American men are living at home with their parents, okay? That's 20%. So you, 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 you have that 50-50 guy element going on more so than ever. More guys are, you know, financially struggling than before some guys are still doing it pretty good but some guys have opted out of the dating market completely they feel that it is no value in it um, they're being overcharged some of the women are not worth dating so you have guys who feel that hey feminism is so strong that you know if you want me to go out with you we can pay 50 50 all right and it's 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 showing that women the value of, of dating in america is decreasing all right now here's what i want to say i like the fact that she said that she's willing to pay some of the time she's not willing to go 50 50 none of the time that i got a lot of respect for i have no problems with that and as ridiculous as tamar braxton can be that I have a lot of respect for. Let me tell you what I don't have anything, any respect for. Sisters out there are women. And I, I, I don't talk about women of other races really on this channel because I'm a black focused person. But women who feel, I don't have to do shit for you. You supposed to pay everything for me. All I'm bringing to the table is myself. Possibly my kids and my baggage. Then I got a problem with. Okay? And I can afford to take somebody out, but you know, at least a Burger King. Many other guys can afford to do something, you know, pay for a meal or pay for a, a vacation, things like that. But the, the, the reality is, is that what am I paying for? And we have to get to the uh, to the bottom of this because why are American men, black men in particular, why are there so many 50-50 guys in black America? Because guys are tired of coming across entitled dates. They're paying for stuff. It's an American problem. It's just not um, African-American problem. But it's an American problem where guys are paying for these exquisite dates and things like that. The women has women have no interest, or the woman has no interest in them. Okay, like it's much better if I'm gonna go out with a lady, you know, and you don't like me. And now that's why the minister is here. Now we're looking at choosing signals, and now we're looking at how a woman is replying on a text message, or how she's on the phone, or if she shows interest. If a woman isn't showing interest, so now it's like, okay, I'm not gonna take her out because. She's not showing any interest. It's not going to go anywhere. But many American women will go out with you. African American women, black women will go out with you. And they will let you pay $200 for a meal. 
and they know that they have they don't like you at all there is absolutely no chance of the relationship going any further or getting to know each other or uh, you know how we know brothers what do you sounds you know uh doing that there's no uh, there's no absolute chance of that happening okay there is no chance <clears throat> so what guys are saying is all right since there's possibility no chance what i'm gonna do is okay and actually, I was wrong. Almost a third of adult single men live with a parent now, over the age of 18. Okay? Now, what's happening is that guys are going 50-50. But when a woman says, I'll pay some of the time, you'll pay some of the time, aha! Uh -huh. What is that? What does black men say at the time? Okay, I got somebody that's willing to do something. She absolutely likes me. Now, think about this. If a woman's willing to pay for you, this is a woman that's interested in you. See, the, the, the guys don't mind dealing. And you do have some guys that are 50-50 guys that expect to be in a relationship with a woman and expect to live with the woman and her to put out and have sex and all that other stuff. It's kind of unlikely, even if we're doing equality. But what a lot of men are looking for is for that woman to also contribute to the relationship in certain ways not just oh i'm letting you have sex like you know certain ladies are like well you know um, i gave you everything what'd you give them some booty that, no you didn't give him anything. come on now i think her assessment is great the problem is the entitlement with women who don't want to do anything for a man and feel that all she has to do is bring herself to the table like i did a video um nico Velli. shout out to him nico Velli is an instagram influencer he's here on youtube um, you know, check him out there. There was a video that I did the other day. Um, and shout out to the brother. The video did very good. It was called 600 pound sister says men ain't nothing. And she don't have to bring anything to the table. Kevin Samuels got a hold of it. He talked about it too. It has 72,693 views at the time of me doing this right now. Okay. What did the lady say in the video? You guys saw it. All I got to do is bring myself to the table. He need to pay for me to have this and pay for that. But this is the kind of chick who complains about 50, 50 guys, right? And what I want to say to a lot of sisters is stop complaining about 50, 50 guys. If you're saying all you got to do is bring yourself to the table. All right. That's my problem there. You don't want to deal with 50, 50 guys, but you don't want to bring nothing to the table. So you, you got a problem with 50-50, you ain't bringing nothing. I'm just bringing myself. Like, like, what does that mean? Well, he bringing himself. You know, you have to bring something too. And you have to give something. A lot of times when we're in relationships, people, we're given our skills, we're given our understanding. Because let's say, for example, I'm a business person and you're not. I'm sharing my particular knowledge or organization skills or my teaching of different things or whatever and vice versa. You might you might be sharing your skill sets with me and we're in a relationship. We're at least bringing something to the table, but I'm just bringing me. What? What does that mean? So then you get the 50 50 guy like, listen, well, let's go out to a date and you pay for yours, pay for mine. And then we go from there until you prove yourself. And that's the situation, right? 50 50 guys, what I will say about them they're making women prove themselves to a certain time before they actually invest. Okay, so you're a woman and you want me to do this. Okay, let's go out and then you pay for yours for mine. And then we'll see, we'll make you, I wanna make sure that you like me first. Oh no, but see, when it comes to your situation, you know, you get, get, kissing him or giving sex with him. No, 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 no. I know it's not the same exact thing, but he's supposed to part with his money in his time. And you ain't you supposed to get everything. It doesn't work like that. I completely agree with her. What do you guys think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm